All right, guys, it's go time. The trap is set. Yes! It's about time. It's been weeks, I've been trying to get this darn rabbit. Hopefully there's something in there. Let me see. Olivia, we're gonna, we're gonna go see this rabbit out there, right? Yeah, Kay. let me see. Okay, let's go. Of course. Okay, let's go look. Bunny in here? Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So last year, if you guys remember, I built a, a little rabbit trap. And you know what? It's actually one of my more popular videos. But um I had some failures with that trap. Now I'm gonna post a little clip of the video right here. Very, very easy. Didn't cost me anything. I had all the had all the pieces. Definitely, I feel like I improved on the design a little bit. So you can see um, the size and just the way I built that trap. Well, I'll show you guys my improvement this year, and I call it Rabbit Trap 2.0 because I did make some changes. There's some some aspects of that trap I just was not happy about at all, and I actually had a pretty high failure rate. So I caught about three rabbits, and I probably lost six seven or eight i'm not 100 percent sure i know there's been a couple times my traps were set no rabbits in there um one time we me and olivia actually saw this big fat rabbit go into the trap trigger it and was able to actually push his butt out because he was just too big for that trap um so that was one of the, one of the issues my trap itself wasn't long enough it was way too short so a lot of times the rabbit would get in and if you hit the thing by the time the door would come down, you'd have time to back out and get out of there. So anyways, first thing is the length. Second thing was the backside. Um, I put a wire mesh because that little piece of wood they put there, they actually ended up chewing through that and they would jump through this little hole. So there's that one. Plus my, I didn't, I didn't really like that trigger hanger that like the metal trigger. So I did make a bigger trigger that way there's no chance of them not hitting because there was times when they actually the trap was so big that they would go inside and they would actually get around the trigger eat all the food and get the hell out of there without even stripping it so i can't have that anyways so i'm going to go through this trap i'll give you guys the dimensions if you guys want to see the full bill you're gonna to have to look at my video that i uh that i already made so but i can give you guys the dimensions that way you guys can build your all right so you guys can see here much longer right so, and you can also see here, I put that mesh on the back side so they can't crawl out. Now my trigger stick, like I said to you guys, so all I did was I actually put a stick here and I have a little notch cut here and that's what sits in the hole. So now that trigger is so big that really, there's no way for them to get around that trigger, um, not trip it when they get to the food, right? So... My door also, in the, my video, I had never added the, these weights to the door. So I added some weights so the door comes down a lot quicker. And I also improved the latching mechanism. This is actually just a piece of plastic. I got to get the snow out from underneath there. And you can see, I'll try to do this without uh, tripping the trigger. There you go. And the overall dimensions of the door are a lot smaller. Um, so you can see they won't, won't really even be able to turn around properly in there. So there she is. Like I said, I'll give you guys the dimensions. So the top piece here is like 20, 22 and a half. My height is seven inches. And then my width across is also seven inches. All right, so this is seven by seven and go 23 long. All right, so there's your dimensions. Um, so far we're one for one. So I'm hoping to get a lot more success with this thing. Now I wanna go show you guys. So like you saw uh, me talking about just earlier there is basically I've been trying to get these freaking rabbits for about three weeks. Um, what's been happening in Manitoba lately? I'm just gonna go outside. 
we've uh, got an unbelievable amount of snow this year. So down in down here, um, like it seems to be like it snows almost every like three or four days. Now the the biggest problem with that I found was that uh, after a big heavy dump, they weren't active for about two to three days afterwards. So. Uh, my problem was I was setting up my trap. I was getting a dump of snow So I would bury the trap and then I'd have to wait two or three days, but My problem was by the time I would reset up my trap it would snow again that night So this time after my big dump I just cleaned off my trap and I left it in there because I was like, you know, what? I'm not going through all that again So I just kind of want to show you guys something here. So So over here is where I originally had my, my trap set. As you can see, I mean, there's so much snow back here. So. When I first originally put the trap here, there was a huge trail. There's actually a hole in my fence down in here where they come through and underneath the porch, they come, they come out right here and then they come through here. But you can see, I mean, they can't even get through here anymore. So I have no more activity here. Basically, they even used to come out of here at one point. They've even come through this hole here. And they've come across the yard. Which I haven't seen a whole lot of action. So, really, the main place they've been kind of coming out is right, right in here, right? So what I did this time is because I had my trap set up right in here is where i have my trap so if you can see i made a little snow bank there and i made a snow bank here so i basically corralled that rabbit right to the trap and inside the trap i actually coated the whole inside of the trap with uh with some apple juice and then i put apple slices inside put them out on the outside now i tried carrots and carrots is a really gr good thing to catch rabbits but apparently in the winter time which i didn't realize is they don't go after it because they freeze and they don't, I guess, don't like frozen uh, carrots. So the carrots were a bust. They say to use dehydrated apples or uh, lettuce in the winter time. Real, I didn't use, I haven't used dehydrated apples, and it seems to work for me every every time. So, so yeah. So there you go. Now I'm gonna show you guys the the trail camera footage uh, from that because I did uh, purchase a just a cheapo trail camera um just so i can start catching some of these animals in the, in the process especially when it comes to deer hunting um this year with jack stuff i'm not going to have as much time to scout areas as i had as i previously had so i'm hoping i can set up some trail cam a trail camera or two and then I, i'll have a, just a better understanding of when they're moving and all that kind of stuff so yeah so i'll show you guys that footage right here now the funny part is you know the it's neat when you have a trail camera, you actually get to start seeing what the animals do. And it took him almost 45 minutes of messing around around the trap before he actually went in all the way and, and triggered it. He actually went in a couple times and I'll show you a couple of these clips, but it's pretty neat. But anyways, I'm going to be incorporating a lot more of this kind of stuff, especially in my rabbit trapping videos. So hope you guys enjoy. And uh, thanks for joining me on that one, guys. Really happy. I know Olivia's excited. She's going to be eating some rabbit heart. And some rabbit liver tonight and that's her favorite and we're probably going to make a stew with that and, a, and some of the grouse i still have from the fall so maybe i'll show you guys that if you guys are interested in seeing uh, my rabbit stew put it down in the comments you guys want to see me cook cook this thing uh other than that we're just going to leave it there thanks for joining along and i hope you guys like this video and we'll catch you guys on the next one We got a rabbit. We got a rabbit. Oh. You want to eat him? Mm, yeah. Yeah. All right. What what part are you excited I about? Mean, a hawk. The hawk. You want to play with one? Yeah. yeah okay. Well, maybe we'll catch another rabbit.